Series 12 is really, really, really bad. So here we to our channel members, Marco Cadrana, Alfredo Jr., and maybe tomorrow for being a part of our memberships. Join memberships. What's up? Welcome back, Gaming Week King family, to another F1 Clash video. In today's video, uh, we're going to be looking at GP tunes. A lot of you guys have been asking me about GP tunes and struggling with GP tunes. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite GP tunes uh, that you can use at your level, whatever level you are in the game. I'm also going to be showing you my GP testing ground uh, where I go to test my GP tune to see how they're performing. I'm going to also explain why I use that uh, to test and so on. All right. So remember to smash that like button. Let's see if we can get 100 like on this video. Really appreciate you guys for all your support. Also remember coming out later on f1 2021 ps5 gameplay uh it's gonna be our first time we're gonna be loading up the f1 2021 uh and see uh how we do on that <laughs> all right so coming out later on so make sure you stick around if you're not yet subscribed as well remember to subscribe to the channel turn any post notifications and also leave a like on the video all right so let's jump into our first tune on our list uh is this tune this one is a very strong tune i had this one uh, down as a mid-level tune that you can use like in the mid in the mid tiers like if you have level eight level eight and level seven commons and so on level five and level four rares uh, you can probably use this tune uh, for your gp events uh, but earlier today in our live stream oh not today today's gonna be friday so earlier yesterday <laughs> in our live stream uh we went up against this setup and it was pretty strong uh, got to pull it pulled two wins on us so uh, definitely an interesting setup I had it down uh, to add to this video before that race and that race just proves my point that it's a good overall setup uh, to use all right so we mostly use I personally uh, mostly use uh, series series 7 as my GP testing round testing ground the main reason why I use series 7 for my GP testing round is because of that all right, so at the top of the, the top crate uh, that you can win in the GP in contenders is C7. Uh, so in theory, in my head, uh, is that the AI cars are going to be at, at a C7 kind of level in the GP events uh, because that's a top crate you can win uh, in contenders. All right, uh, because I'm in a division right now, I can't go down to look at champions and so on and so on. But you guys can go ahead. And just go down and look and then you can use that ground as your testing ground so if you're in the juniors division uh then you can look to see what's the highest level crate you can win in the juniors division gp and then you'll use that series as your testing ground for your gp setup all right all right so we're going to be going out into series seven we don't need a free crate slot uh, so we're going to jump out into series seven and we're going to see the performance of this car so i use series 7 i also use series 8 and series 9 as my testing grounds uh, just to see so if my car if i put on a setup and my drivers and my car qualify let's say 5 and 6 in series 7 i like to step it up a notch go up to series 8 and look where they're qualifying if they're being consistent in the top 10 or if they're going to be dropping to the midfield or if they're going to be dropping below and then i go up step it up to level 9 uh, and see uh, if they're going to be doing good at level in series 9 as well. All right. As you guys know, the, C the AIs in series 12 is really, really, really bad. So here we see we got a 1 8 qualifiers with this setup pole position for Charles Leclerc, who is at level 6. So right away, you know, this tune is not a tune to play around with. Uh, and it's an awesome tune for you to use in your GP events. All right. So we're going to look at the start of the race. I'm not going to do the entire race as I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, and that will be, we're going to be sharing three tunes. So that would be a very long video, probably like 25 minutes or so. But uh, we're just going to look at the start. As you can see, Leclerc got away. Sainz got a good start, held his eighth place position that he qualified in, did not lose any position. So this is a very awesome tune uh, to use. Uh, in your GP events if you have these parts if you don't have them at this level you just need to put them on and try them in that just use that same technique the same method uh, that I just explained uh, where you look 
on based on the event that you're in and test on that higher seas level all right and then you'll see your performance how your car can and will be able to perform in the gp events 90 percent of the time the same way how it, it performs there that's how it's going to perform uh in the event all right so the next tune up let's go and make the changes for the next tune uh i have them written down here sorry so my next tune up is going to be slow motion let's put the slow motion on uh rotor i have the cx2 here uh, i have the padlock the hold and the destroyer all right so this is the next setup uh so as you can see we've just changed uh the brake and the rear wing on this setup uh so if you have more of higher level F, uh, rears uh than your commons then you would definitely want to be going with this setup as you can see here my cx2 is at level seven my slow motion is at level seven however my destroyer and my padlock is at level six all right so we're going to be going out again into series 12 to see where this setup is qualifying uh, and how the start is going to be like uh, for us based off of Champions Division uh, which Series 7 is the highest level crate you can win in Champions Division so that would be the best level to test for us All right, as you can see we're not getting any easy rivals as well these rival has been performing consistently uh, in their events and scoring good alright so let's go look at qualifiers at Mexico uh, with this setup and then we're gonna start off the race to see how good we are at the start if our drivers lose any positions or if they're gonna gain any positions and so on all right so once again we got good qualifiers here top 10 we got fourth and ninth this time around not like the previous setup where we got first and eight fourth and ninth this time around however we're still in that top 10 uh, that is where you want to be at and we're gonna kick it off to see the qualifying once you're starting in the top 10, uh, you're good to score above 40 points for the race. As long as you have a good strategy uh, to go through, you're good. All right, so we started off at fourth and ninth. We want to see how our drivers do on that first corner. There we see Sainz pulling away to second place and Leclerc making his way up to seventh place on that first corner. And yeah, awesome tune. Another awesome one uh, here for you guys to use. I have been testing these uh, a lot so i basically know the outcome already i'm just showing you guys now uh, so you can use these setups as well to get a good result all right so that's second place and sixth place after the first lap so awesome setup there we're gonna forfeit right there and move on to the next setup all right all right so the next setup on our list uh, where is it there we go all right, so the next setup on our list, uh, let me, this one was one that we were messing around in the live streams and we were testing setups and we came across this setup and we were surprised uh, of the, <laughs> the performance of this setup. So I decided to add it to the list so you guys can use it as well to get these good results. And it's the CX, the rotor and the slow motion at the top. So this is the other setup that we come that came across in our GP uh, in our live streams as we were testing setups and this one was epic I think we qualified at second and third place with this one some, something like that so we're about to test it here now to see what the qualifying would look like uh, this one is mostly uh, for higher level players as you know it's three common three epics in there uh, and two rares and a common so you guys can pick and choose if you do have these parts just use that technique that i just said to look at the division that you're in look at the highest reward for that series for that division and then use that series to test your tune uh, to see how good your car will be doing in the event all right so here we go for a qualifying looking nice we're on canada here once again getting out qualified but this time we still stick in the top 10, 7 and 10 place uh, this time around for us. And as you know, we're still in the top 10. Once again, let's look at the start. And that's what you want for those GP events, those top 10 tunes. So you guys have been asking me about setups and stuff. So here I am delivering some setups. 
uh, we're gonna go into some reasoning after I do look at this setup here on why we, we choose these uh, setups and why we set up the car these way or this kind of way all right so Leclerc started off pick up a few position three but two positions to be exact up to fifth place uh, signs right there in 10th place holding strong in his qualifying position so as you know great start great starting tune great powerful tune to use there we go our drivers are picking up positions nice and early on that first lap that's what we want to see uh, when doing those GP events so we can pick up put up some big score on the map uh, and get it done all right all right so the entire concept uh, of these tunes were to try to try and go as balanced as possible or try to go really close to balance uh, and see uh, I think one of these tunes uh, was was shared with us by Nate Jones uh, you guys know Nate dog from our live streams great player great dude as well uh, so the idea was to go for balance setup so you want to try and get your power your grip and your arrow kind of balanced and then your reliability would just fall into place uh, with that setup all right what once you're getting your grip your power and your arrow nice and in line you don't have to get them exact or you just want to use like a marker let's say you use like a 10 score marker so you want to say 10 points you want to keep them within that 10 points limit you don't want to want to be way uh, higher than the other you want to come back down to that 10 points limit and keep them nice and tight and get that tune done then you can go ahead run some tests on on your event in your duels uh, to see how the car will perform in your events and get some wins all right so that's basically going to be it for this one remember to look out later on f1 2021 coming out you guys are gonna laugh so hard crazy all right so leave code word uh best tune down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video really appreciate you guys for all your support and that's going to be it for this one and i'll see you guys in the next one peace